guys, today's video, my Rongo Pendulum deck list. It's fire, it's literally auto win. Like, I'm so proud of myself for making this deck. It's incredible. Uh, the beginning version of my deck of Rongo Pendulum, I had the idea for it, versus the, the version now, is insane. Just a wholly different level. Before I was iffy, I'm like, oh, is this gonna be a gimmicky deck? Is it gonna be this, is it gonna be that? But now I'm confident this deck's literally auto win. Every single time I go first, if the duel is over before it starts, whether they're handcuffs or not. And going second, I'm extremely confident as well because we got Mare Mare. The whole extra deck's packed with cards to take care of, to destroy them going second. So I absolutely love this deck and I want to show it to you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to showcase to you guys my Rongo Pendulum Decklist. Make sure to check out Game Nation, by the way, in the description below. Follow us on Facebook and make sure to subscribe, guys. I want to hit 13k as soon as possible. So subscribe to your boy and let's get right into it. So it's 50 cards instead of 60. And the turbo list is a little different. So, 12, nine turbo cards here. We took out the Mythical Beast engine. Why? Because we win going first. It's an auto win. It's like an FTK going first. We do not, you do not want to play three, uh, three Brilliant Fusions and two Garnets. Because you need to play two Jackals. Like two, you, you, unless you play one Jackal, which I still don't like that count. So you need to play three and two, which our ratio is just bad. Three and two is a horrible ratio to be playing in terms of like turbo cards. And if you drew the jackal, it's completely dead. I don't want to play dead cards. Like I don't want to play any. You don't care for any gates right now. You just care to destroy the, to put up Rongo. And if they hand trap you like crazy, you won't have the opportunity to send a jackal. So uh, jackals are relevant if you get hand trapped anyways. So don't play. If you're playing this version, don't play jackals. If you're playing real normal pendulums, like it's not like FTK or anything like that, like Rongo, you have to play them. Obviously, play jackals in that case. But it's not that case. We do play a different engine here as well. So I'm gonna show you the spell turbo cards where we got a whole bunch. So we got these plus these. So four foolishes, shrines, whatever, three shrines, two terraformers, nine. And we play set rotation and empowerment. You do play one warrior card. That warrior is the way you do the wrong old play. So for those of you who, don't, who haven't seen my first video where I showcase the actual combo and how to do wrong old, uh, pe pe every single turn in pendulums, Go check it out right now and come back to this. But essentially, it's this. You just you make an electric, you draw one of these cards. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Draw one of these 20 in a 50 card deck. Just draw one of 20. And your 50 card deck can open five cards. This is literally like a 95% chance happening. Like even higher than that. Like this is no like shenanigans. Like, you're literally drawing one of these and you're opening five no matter what. Like if not, like what kind of bad luck do you have? You must draw one of these in your opening hand. And when you always just draw a Dark Worm with one of these 26 or whatever it may be uh, with the Pendulum Calls. But anyways, 20 and even more than 20. And it's a 47 card deck because you play a Lord. 44 because the Lord draws two. Anyways, it's incredible high ratio of drawing one of these. Draw one of them. Let's say you draw Curtain Razor, the worst of all. You put out a Curtain Razor. You normal any monster, so you draw another Curtain Razor too. Normal Summon, you go into it, you have the combo. All you need is one of these 20 and any normal Summon, you have the whole combo. So you Curtain Razor, you normal Summon. And you send, uh, you go Electrum and you send Dragonies. This is the whole combo. You only play one of these. You just play one of these. And drawing it's not the end of the world. It doesn't matter whatsoever if you draw it. Uh, you send it. I probably would rather play Dragonox because it's dark and it's a little better effect. You send it. Next, you use Electrum to add any, you need any level 3 going around in the deck. I'm going to showcase you guys how many level 3s there are in the deck. Uh, Shrot, Destrudo by, by 9 ways here, 10 ways to Destrudo. Uh, 3 Harmonizing gets you level 3, that's 13. Two level three magicians, 15. Uh, three PKs, the pseudo itself, that's four, that's 19. Six pendulum calls, 25. You have 25 ways in a 45 card deck to draw a level three. You're gonna draw a level three. Or a chronograph as well, getting gazer. So uh, plus abductor itself, that's 35 or something, 33. 33 ways in a 47 card deck to get a level three. You're gonna have a level three, it's not even part of the ratio here. So you simply get the level three or harmonize it. You pen one, you pen one harmonizing from your hand. You pen this and the razor that you had and pen to harmonizing or just pen to level three and a level four, it doesn't matter. And then you go with this, I'll show you later, but essentially you turn two, you turn Electrum and two monsters into the PK. You're left with a level three and this on board. You get boots to, with the level three to go into bamboozling. The level four is a warrior, you go into Rongo and that's just five material Rongo. Typically, because that's a one card, I'm talking about like the worst possible opening where you have like just summoned one monster from your hand. Typically you have six materials because typically you're gonna have two or three level threes. Uh, Sorry, you're gonna have three, two or three level threes on board before you even get the boots. So you're gonna have a wrong goal of five, six, or seven materials, usually six. So that's how you do it. I'm gonna showcase the very end combo, the whole combo again one more time at the very end after we showcase everything to you guys. 
But if you haven't seen it, I explained it in depth in the last video where you do two random test hands out of nowhere. And then with our first try, like literally, I can do 15 test hands and they're all gonna be wrong. Every single hand's wrong. And if you get a hand trap, you just go in, you put up negates instead. It's extremely amazing for that. And uh, let's say the impermanence your electro. Uh, you have eight ways to go into Dragodes in that way. Empowerment itself sucks. Because uh, if you drag your mean a dark worm, you get a plus off the dark worm. You get back a gate zero. But if you discard something off empowerment, and special this, this doesn't give you a plus. So empowerment is not as good. So we're going to play one of it. And it's uh, just it's good to play one just in case you, you save the terraforming if you can until the very end after your electro. Because then impermanence or failure your electro, then, or, or gamma or whatever, whatever. Uh, it, you have the option now to have one of these. Two terraforming, one set rotation, one empowerment. So it's like three terraforming essentially. So that's one, two, three, four, five, plus three abductor. Eight ways to search uh, the empowered card, the war the war pendulum warrior, if your like or if your electrum gets negated. That makes sense? So you have 20 turbo cards and the one warrior. We play three dark worm because now we're upping the count of cards that this get discarded. So drawing this every single turn is amazing. So you have the three terraformings, like set rotation counts on terraforming because it's literally set. It's literally terraforming. Empowerment discards, but it does suck with dark one because we'll be a monster on board. And three dragon intervene, like it's six, three pen, six pen calls, twelve empowerment in a sense, tw like thirteen. Like if so many ways to discard this card, uh, you need to. Well, you want to see it in your opening hand, and if you don't, you want to see it foolish. It's just great to have. It's a free plus. <laughs> Next, uh, the magician count and the one zero. Uh, three. This is a way different magician count. But it's so good for this deck. It works incredibly. The Magicians are Garnets. You hate seeing them. But you want to see every single one of these. Typically, you hate seeing, oh my god, two Black Fangs in my opening hand. My hand sucks. Two Purple Poison. Oh my god, my hand sucks. That sucks. You don't want to see any of that. So, you took a Poison, a Black Fang, a Dragon Pit, and Janky completely. Janky actually sucks. They all suck. Uh, the thing you see here, you need level threes. One of each is perfect. That's all. You don't need to play more. You want to see them. You want to see one of these in your hand. One of these in your hand. Wisdom gets you whatever skill you want. It's both low and high, sc high scale. Uh, and then harmonizing, obviously, because you want to pen this and you have a combo, and one Oak Dragon. You do not want high levels in your deck. You want to summon level 3s, level 4s only. Typically, you're going to have even, a lot of times, scale 5 is mostly the high scale in the deck. You're only summoning 4s. So, this is the highest level monster. Yeah, so thi like this, this, and Chronograph are the only monsters that can't be Pendulum summoned typically. Well, you usually, obviously, you're going to have, like, if you draw Pendulum, you're going to have 2-8, two, 2-8, eight, two, eight, whatever. But it's way, way, way easier Way easier just to have a skill 5 in there and not worry about high monsters. It gives skill 5s the option to be a high thing, right? Like before, skill 5s are almost the low scale because typically people summon 6s and 7s, but the 6s and 7s suck. You prefer lower levels. And these typically, you're just going to put in your scale anyways if you draw. So it doesn't oh, matter. Yeah. And the Chrono is going to be an extra deck, which doesn't matter because you're going to have too many stuff to summon from your extra deck anyways. So, or Oak Dragon just in your scale for a free plus one. So that's the Magician count. And it's fantastic. I wouldn't change anything whatsoever. If anything outside one Dragon Pit, you know, because this deck does have, Rongo isn't very good against, let's say you uh, face a deck that has like incredible amounts of back row and like no actual like combo de like, combo style deck. So you decide a Dragon Pit for those type of decks. Uh, but it's insane. I absolutely love that Magician count. For this version, if you're playing a normal, typical version, you should play one of each for utility, like one Poison, one Black Fang, etc. But for this, these are absolutely perfect. And I never found ever that would need more. Not even in the grind game, no nothing. It's absolutely perfect. And I tested all this in the grind game, the ratios are perfection. Next, the PK count. You want to see one of these, just another level three. Drawing any of these are good. It just makes the combo even easier. You don't need to draw Harmonize. You, know? you don't need, like, you want to draw one of your 25 level threes. Whether it's two, what's there, the only thing that you don't want to draw is two boots. Because if you draw two boots, you can't add a boots back for free. Because you're getting a boots for free anyways. It doesn't matter. You can still do the combo if you draw two boots. If you draw, if you play one boots, one cloak is a lot tougher. But to play two boots is a lot easier to resolve the combo just in case you drew that one boots. Drawing is good. It's not a brick whatsoever. You want to see them. Next one, the Strudel. You also want to see this. It's literally a free, like, you pen summon it to get a free fodder for the PK link. And then when it goes to the graveyard, you bring it up by its effects. So it's literally two cards. You want to see the Strudel as well. I might even up the count of the Strudel, but that's kind of stupid and feed to me by playing more than one Strudel in this deck, where you almost send it all the time with your shrines, etc. The one brick of the deck, Mirror Mirror, but at the end of the day, you just discard your 13 outlets to discard. Like I said, if you look at the spells, all these cards, discard. So you can play uh, six, seven cards discard, six pendulum calls a discard, 13 cards in a 47 card deck, because you play three allures, it's 50 in total though, a discard. So if you draw going first, you just discard it, big deal. But if you uh, draw, if you have it in your deck going second, it all, it's a whole, it's literally a win con with Yazi. You need to play this card. If you're playing Distrudo, every single deck in the world is playing Distrudo, must play this, must play Mirror. Like must, it's not even an option. 
what Yazi can do is incredible. It wins games on its own. It'll pop one monster, it'll pop one spell trap card, it'll pop anything by Yazi, and it'll shuffle a card with Unicorn. So Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn, and Mir Mir, or, sorry, and Yazi, all four are gonna get pop effects, and you just need to uh, use one card to do it. Because you discard, then the Nightmares draw for themselves, and then you get back that one card at the very end. And then you go into Boral Load, and then you win, or Boral Sword, and then you just win. Like, it's absolutely remarkable. Next, the spells. I already showed you guys the turbo cards, like the Foolers, the Shrines, the Ravines. These are incredible, going second, like, uh, not going, going first, I'm going second. As for these, even after you, let's say you draw one of the Electrum, it's fantastic, because it's just a free Distrudo. Because Distrudo equals the level 3, remember? So it's fantastic. It can even, like, it's absolutely amazing. So I absolutely love these cards. And one empowerment, like I said, necessary just in case they impermanence your Electro. And drawing is good. It's just another turbo card. The three Pentecost three alliances. Magicians are so good with this because you get level threes easily and scales. And that's what you need. And you get free pluses. Like, it's insane. Discard the garbage card. It's so good. Three allures. We don't play desires or upstart. We could play upstart, but 50 right now is perfect. Uh, allure, literally the whole deck's dark and you banish whatever you don't want. It's fantastic. And uh, one of each trap. We play this to ensure that you have the combo because it's another warrior. We won't play two warriors in the deck. We play this and then the one pendulum warrior. And then this, just in case you get hand trapped beyond belief. So if you get hand trapped, then let's say uh, let's say you get your electrum gets impermanence and you don't have a way to get the, the other warrior, that's fine. You still do your combo, except you're going to end up on the... You just go normal pendulum at that point. You're not going to go six negates like I, like I showed you guys before because you're going to take other parts of your deck. But under impermanence, you're under one hand trap, you're easily going to be able to put up uh, there's so many turbo cards in this deck under any hand trap except for Joel. And Joel, you're still going to put up different type of boards. You're going to have easily, easily, a Dragster, any rank 4, and a Fog Blade. Easily, through hand trap. Even through Joel, maybe. You don't know. But hand traps don't do much to this deck, I'm telling you. Uh, Joel does hurt it a lot more than other hand traps. But even if they Joel you, it's not the end of the world. You took out so many cards that draw. That you took out, I mean, took out Cerberus, Desires, Upstarts, etc, etc. That doesn't hurt as much as my previous builds. Joel's nothing. Hand traps are nothing. I'm going to showcase to you guys... This Rongo version might be the version I'm going to play for good. It's insane. Going first is auto-win. Going second is auto-win. So I might show you guys how to play through hand traps with this. The other videos were Patreon videos. So I'm, I'm not going to post 10 Patreon videos uh, for one specific type of deck. To showcase how to play against hand traps with that specific deck. But this is most likely going to be my version of pendulums moving forward. So with that being said, I will showcase how to play around hand traps. I do recommend this build out of all my decks I ever made. In this format. It's absolutely insane. Nice for the extra deck. We got Electrum, obviously, Underclock and the PK Link. Underclock's the way you do it. You Electrum, you you Pendulum Summon, you get rid of one card, Electrum and one random with Underclock, and then the random Dark for PK Link, and you have the whole combo. They're all they're necessary for whether you go wrong or not. Uh, it's absolutely necessary. And even going second. Don't even, I don't even like signing out the trap going second, because you clear their board going second with Yazi, Mare Mare, a bunch of a bunch of shenanigans, Nightmare plays. And then when they don't see it coming, with the Link Karibo and like a, a underclock just out of nowhere, you just go into this. So you get two free traps, just for free, just like that. Next, we also play the rank through the rank four Morongo. So these five are basically, you're going through with these five going first. And then if you, you get hand trapped like crazy, uh, you're going to be going through these. So these are the only other negates we play in the deck. Dragster, you go to Synchro 7s like this in the deck right now. And especially with the Strudel and all that, and the Harmonizing, you go bring out level three, even if you get, even if you're wrong, you get hand trapped or whatever. And then you have one of these. So typically when you get hand trapped, you're going to have a Dragster. A Tornado or a Dweller, whatever is best in the situation. I prefer a Dweller, but if you're facing like a back row deck, you don't even need to wrongo them. If I face Altergeist, Altergeist or like a stun deck, I don't, you don't need to wrongo. You just go Dragster, Tornado, Fog Blade, and you win already, just with that alone. Then you, next turn, you just OTK. Uh, so, but again, against like Dark Goki, even just Dweller in this is game uh, with a Fog Blade, just in case, then OTK on the next turn. As those eight, those only interruptions we play the rest of the extra deck. I... Uh, allows me because we're playing Rongo. You don't need to put too many negates. We took Vortex out because level seven suck. We took out Norito, uh, like a Synchro eight interruption, a more rank four interruptions is the only rank fours we play. We got rid of these to ensure our extra deck is all utility and how you can put up crazy uh, link plays and to just uh, take care of the whole boards. So Yazi Link Karibo, going second, you literally just turbo out Yazi. Uh, and then you do your play. You don't pen summon until you Yazi. Because you're always going to have to pseudo. There's like 20 ways to go into pseudo in this deck. You always Yazi. And then you after you Yazi and clear everything, they're going to go to two interruptions to stop this. And even if they don't have an option to it because all their stuff will target, you just clear more. So you do this, get rid of the options, then you pen five after and then just win. And then we play one of each Nightmare that interrupts cards in Pendulums. There's not much space for this in Pendulum, but because we took all the negates, there's so much space now. Like the Vortex package allows you to play these, taking them allows you to play these, and they're all free. One, ya one Yazi resolving equals all this. So it's like pop, 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 shuffle, pen five. And then it goes into Boral Sword after it just win. 
I only play one Boral Load and one Boral Sword. I just let my friend borrow it. So one Boral Load, one Boral Sword, and that's the deck. And no one needs a side deck. You auto win. So that's the main deck. I, should like. I hope you guys like it. This oh, is yeah. the best version of my deck. Make sure to play it. I will probably, if I'm not lazy, put the link in the description to the Dueling Book. Download Lazy. You can just download it and play it for yourselves online. Make sure to subscribe, guys. Make sure to check out Game Nation. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. And so